Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, things are really busy with work and everything like that and I work on everybody six days a week so I usually get just the one day off and tomorrow I work and uh, usually I would barbecue tomorrow night but it's supposed to be in the mid 90s again so I wanted to do something a little bit different. So what I decided to do is, and I do this you know, off and on during the year, I'm just going to throw everything in the slow cooker. What I did is I looked through the freezer, I had two ducks left over from last year, duck hunting. Both of these are wood ducks, and I've got the little wood duck hearts, I always save the hearts. And right here, this is uh, from last year when I butchered the pigs, this is uh, one of the pork hocks in the front leg, and I smoked this. These are all still partially frozen, but I'm just going to put these in a slow cooker. The ducks will be ducks. This will give it a little bit of a smoky taste. I'm going to do what I always do when I do the slow cooker. I just throw a whole bunch of stuff in and either it tastes good or it doesn't, but it all goes down. Uh, I got some frozen carrots from last year's garden, green peppers, onions. This is my last package of my homemade bacon and uh, I need to take out another. I have four or five packages of pork belly out there that I need to make another batch. And I got some broccoli from last year's garden. So I'm going to throw in some of the onions, some green peppers, and all this stuff was frozen. It's still pretty much half frozen. I'm going to throw in all the broccoli. That stuff really soaks up the flavor. Frozen carrots. Put in my last few pieces of bacon. I also have a ton of stuff that is dehydrated, so usually when I do a slow cooker thing, because it cooks for so long, I like to throw in some of my dehydrated vegetables also. So I'm going to throw in some green beans, a little bit of dehydrated red onions. I'm going to throw in some of this, what is it, Japanese I think it is, eggplant. Some regular eggplant. And I'm going to throw in some of my dehydrated cabbage. One small can of mushrooms with the juice. I'm going to put some garlic powder in here. A few bay leaves. A little bit of oregano. Good amount of seasoning salt. A little bit of pepper some soy sauce, some Worcestershire sauce, and a little bit of red wine vinegar. The only reason I put this in here is because I have no idea why I have it up in the cupboard, but I do. <laughs> so I throw it in when I cook something like this. I'm going to add about a cup of water just because I have all that dehydrated stuff in there. And now I'm just going to put the cover on it. I'm going to throw this in the refrigerator. And tomorrow when I wake up for work, it'll be about 4.30 in the morning, I'll pop this on low and I'll let it cook all day long. All right, well in the morning we'll start this up and tomorrow night we'll see what we end up with. All right, well it's bright and early in the morning. Get this thing turned on. All right, we'll take another look when I get home. I just got home from work maybe an hour ago and I turned this down to just warm, but look at that. That looks absolutely delicious. I tasted it. I don't even have to add any salt. <laughs> Usually I do, so not bad. I think I'm going to put this over probably mashed potatoes. I don't really feel like rice tonight, but it's going to be a good dinner. Not too long now. I'll have some more fresh smoked pork hocks. A few more ducks in the freezer. And a bunch more vegetables so I can do it again. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. We'll see you guys on the next video. Okay, I need everybody to just pretend that I went out to the garden and picked some nice fresh new potatoes and I'm mashing them up. <laughs>